ninth challenge um, relates to the APFO. We see that the APFO is placing a lot of limitations on the amount of housing that can be built. And that lack of housing runs the risk of accelerating infrastructural challenges, potentially by limiting the ability of the county to increase its tax base, tax base over time. Um, now, the APFO does provide a framework that if adjusted for market conditions and accompanied by infrastructure planning, um, could balance planning and development with services and infrastructure. But it also does have the potential to disrupt the balance between supply and demand even further if the county can't keep up with the um, requirements that are necessary for new development to occur. Um, and as we know, school capacity is often the driving force behind these uh, restrictions. And it's also a very controversial topic within the community. Um, that said, it's worth noting that many of the policy practitioners in the county that we spoke with don't believe that new development is the driving force behind those school capacity problems. Um, in many cases, there's reason to believe that uh, turnover of existing units is a major contributor to these problems, which would suggest that they can't necessarily be solved by restricting new development alone. And because of that, a guiding principle is to find creative ways to meet demands for both housing and infrastructure, um, and to also consider targeted amendments to the APFO for when the APFO review committee convenes at the end of the general plan to improve uh, planning and predictability and to better balance housing and school interests. Um, as I mentioned, those nine challenges and guiding principles were the backbone of um, a lot of our task force meetings last, last uh, year, as well as the foundation of our plan. Each of them helped inform the recommendations that we ultimately put forward. Um, but Howard County is a really diverse community, both in terms of the people who live here, as well as the neighborhood and housing that it offers. And because of that, there isn't one solution to any of those nine problems. Um, instead, the recommendations that we put forth are really meant to serve as, as a comprehensive framework that the county can use to improve housing opportunities, not, not just today, but also in the years to come. And so the three big picture goals of the Housing Opportunities Master Plan are to revise land use planning and zoning regulations to improve the availability, accessibility, affordability, and diversity of housing, support housing stability through the improvement of existing policies and programs and the creation of new ones, and to address both housing and infrastructure needs in Howard County to ensure that neither form of demand eclipses the other. Um, as you can see, those three goals relate back to the, the three categories of challenges that we identified at the start of this presentation and that we spend a lot of time talking about during all of our task force discussions. Um, and so starting with that first category, land use planning and zoning, uh, we identified five categories of recommendations that will help improve land use, and, land use uh, planning and zoning. And that's to use land use policy uh, and provide incentives to produce income restricted housing units, enable more equitable growth throughout the county through changes to zoning regulations and land use plans, facilitate the development of lower cost housing typologies, remove zoning barriers to mixed use neighborhoods and developments, and promote efficient processes for approving development. Um, for policies and programs, we want to improve housing sector coordination and boost capacity raise and deploy capital for affordable housing production and preservation, create a robust multifamily preservation strategy, improve housing conditions and support households with home repair and modification needs, expand opportunities for home ownership, and support low-income households, vulnerable populations, and households with specialized needs. And for housing and infrastructure, we want to identify creative mechanisms to fund housing and school facility investment and to attain full development of annual allotted new housing units. As I said, we want to evaluate targeted changes to the APFO to support the growth required to improve housing affordability opportunities. And we want to creatively land, utilize land assets in the county. Um, and so, as I mentioned, these 14 items are, are really the categories of recommendations in the Housing Opportunities Master Plan. The plan itself um, includes much more specific uh, recommendations and direction about uh, within each of those. And so, for example, when we say we want to um, create a robust multifamily preservation strategy, 
the plan itself has 10 or so recommendations that are ways that the county should do that. Um, that's probably the most extreme example in terms of the single number of recommendations that fall into any of one of these bullets. Uh, but, they, but they really do vary in terms of scale and impact. 